The latest political developments in Karnataka as the split between Congress stalwarts D.K. Shiv Kumar and Siddha Ramaya widens. R. Ashok, the Revenue Minister for Karnataka, reacted to the Congress in fighting as similar to the one in Punjab. The squabbling between the two big faces of the Congress began after supporters of both sides began promoting their respective leaders as the next chief ministerial candidate from Karnataka. Karnataka goes to the polls in 2023. Tension between the two factions is intensifying after D.K. Shiv Kumar from the Vokalega community expressed his desire to become the next chief minister. What happened in Punjab? Same thing happening in Karnataka. They are fighting, infighting between the Congress president, opposition leader, some other uh, uh, caste leaders in Congress. That in inner politics, that they were making a, a caste politics. The caste politics will not run here. As a opposition, they are not visited anywhere in the Karnataka. They are not uh, supported who is suffering in the flood area. So Congress in fighting. Next election, Congress will go, go to third place. My colleague Srija joins us for more on this. Srija, uh, fairly sharp lines have been, uh, have been formed between these two leaders. Where does that actually leave the Congress in the state at a time when unity uh, is so important in the party? Well, right now, the split is wide open because on one hand, you have two tall stalwarts, especially from the Congress. You have on one hand, D.K. Shiv Kumar. He is the Congress uh, president here in Karnataka. On the other hand, you're also looking at Siddharamaya, who's the leader of the opposition. Yes, of course, the two factions are divided at the moment. Uh, you know, in terms of as far as D.K. Shiv Kumar is concerned, there are several of the loyalists and supporters who are backing D.K. Shiv Kumar, who also say that he could be the next uh, chief ministerial candidate as far as Karnataka goes. On the other hand, you see in the next few days, there's a, going to be a huge program that's been organized for Siddharamaya, the leader of the opposition, who's also the former chief minister of Karnataka. This is to mark his birth anniversary. This is in a form to show his, you know, that he is able to garner maximum support here in Karnataka. But whatever is said and done, what we're looking at, even though R. Ashok, the revenue minister, has said that caste politics won't work out here, we clearly see every time when there's Karnataka elections, especially the elections are due in 2023. It's of course that we have seen several of the candidates, especially CM candidates, being installed based on the caste system. So if you're talking about the caste itself, the voting system here, we're looking at the Lingayat taking the top of at least 17 to 18 percent of Karnataka's vote, which is one reason why we understand, uh, you know, even now, especially even though uh, B.S. Yadirapa was asked to step down from his position, we see BJP has always seen him as the tall uh, leader as far as uh, you know, the BJP is concerned. On the other hand, you're looking at as far as the Congress where the divide is wide open here. You know, but however, you have several of the leaders itself within the Congress and the BJP talking about it is for the uh, command, high command, Congress high command to decide who's going to be the face of next Congress uh, uh, chief ministerial candidate. All right. Thanks very much, Trija, for uh, sharing those details with